Upgrades. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another JVS movie review. I've been able to take a break from the Tribeca Film Festival to review a film that is nothing but a video game. And that film is Extraction 2. It stars Chris Hemsworth. That's the only name you need to know about this one. It is directed by Sam Hargrove. And here is a quick synopsis. Back from the brink of death, Commando. Mm -mm -mm. Tyler Rake embarks on a dangerous mission to save a ruthless gangster in prison family. This is not a movie. I don't care what anyone tells you. Extraction 2 is not a movie. This is a video game. Everything seems like a video game. Everything is shot like a video game. The only thing I was missing was somebody putting a controller in my hand and telling me it was a video game. Because that's what it feels like throughout this whole film here. We're injured, we, we pick up on the story of Mr. Rake as he is saved by his comrade who happens to nurse him back to health. And then a magically itches Elba shows up and gives him another mission. The mission he gives him is the most ridiculous thing in the world. It is a guy who's grown up now who becomes a warlord with his brother. He's arrested. Once he's arrested, he decides to also imprison his family with him in jail. And Rake is given an assignment to save the wife and the kids who happens to also be related to his now estranged wife. Plot doesn't matter here. Throw all of that out the window. Everything I just said about the plot of this movie throw out the window because none of it matters. When I said this movie is like a video game, I truly meant that. But also understand when I say that it's like a video game, you also got to put, put in the elements that make it exciting. This is a non-stop action movie in the vein of Rambo, Rambo 5, I think that was. Whichever one it was when Sylvester Stallone threw the baby in the fire. Or not him, but when <laughs> the villagers threw the babies in the fire. Whatever Rambo that was, that's in vain of this film. Chris Hemsworth is an unstoppable force. And I mean unstoppable force. It is a scene in this film. One of the longest action scenes. Because at one point in time it seems like they do over a 20 minute one cut of a, of a scene. I'm not sure if that is that way. But I think it was shot to make it look that way. But I strongly doubt they did it that way. But in one scene. He's in a prison. And he's fighting his way outside the prison. One man is fighting his way with, with, with someone with him who he must save. He's fighting his way out of a prison. This, this movie is action set piece after action set piece after action set piece after action set piece. This is ridiculous. And I understand the comparisons that people will have to John Wick. The difference is, I think at that point, you're invested so far in the John Wick. You're willing to excuse some of the things that happened in John Wick 4. But still, there's an overall arching theme of why everything's happening in John Wick. Here, with uh, Mr. Rake, he just happened to put himself in a situation. Because he must save people. Or he must kill people. In the most brutal ways humanly possible. And he must survive things. That humans don't survive <laughs> to make it make sense. It is ridiculous. I am I am trying to control my laughter here. The film is ridiculous. There's no element of this film that I took seriously. Like, serious for this film goes out the window 10 min 20 minutes into it. The seriousness goes out. When you hear he's put on assignment to save a family who's been trapped in jail by a drug lord. Because he wanted his family with him. And they sent one man or a team of three. Because that's what this whole thing is. It's a team of three. A team of three and to save a family from a prison. You start shaking your head. At that point, you just let go of anything that could be realistic in this film. And that's a good thing to do. Because you, in turn, you get to enjoy Chris Hemsworth. In his... 80s action star best here. It's in the end, 
this Thomas Ray character is no different from Rambo or whatever character that I can't remember that Arnold Schwarzenegger played in Commando because it feels the same way. It's just action set piece, little, little plot that no one's going to care about. Action set piece, little, little plot that no one's going to care about. Action set piece. That's all this film does. It sets up everything from the prison scene to this amazing train action scene that is so well shot, but absolutely ridiculous and unrealistic. But that's most of this film. is shot beautifully, but it's a thousand percent unrealistic. But that's why you have to lend to watching this film and understanding what you're getting into. The first extraction had its slow moments. But his action was always good. And when it kicked up on that action in the third act of the first film, I think that's when people fell in love with it. So what they decided to do with the second film is say, hey, forget doubling down, tripling down. Let's quadruple down on that ending in the first film and kind of make the second film nothing but that. I don't blame them for it. I fully understand why you did it. Because if I would have been handed a film with this script, with this plot, with this storyline, I would laugh and say, oh, this is not realistic at all. I don't know where we're going with it, but clearly we must be making a video game. And that's what you get from Extraction 2. The action is video game-like. It is ridiculous. Even greater to the level than John Wick 4 was, which I also thought was uh, video game violence. This one is to a different degree of what that term means. But it is still an enjoyable film because it's something where you can cut your brain completely off. And I don't mean like cut it on dim and wait for it to kick back in. I mean like shut it down like you're shutting down Windows 7. Shut down your brain the exact same way. Let it go off all the way and then turn on Extraction 2 and just watch the killing and the bright pictures. And I think it will make the film more enjoyable for, for you, especially if you're a person who came in it expecting a plot. I did not come in expecting a plot and I got exactly what I thought. Matter of fact, no, I didn't get exactly what I thought. This was even crazier than I ever thought humanly possible. But I expected an action movie and that's what it gives you as an action movie. And it gives you a vehicle that truly shows the talent of Chris Hemsworth. Granted, I do and would love to have him in another film that is of this vein shows more of the comedic element that I think he's amazing at. This film does not show that element of it, but it's still a really solid action movie. So, Extraction 2, brought to you by Netflix. It is currently out now on Netflix to watch at your viewing pleasure out of a possible 10. I'm going to give Extraction 2 a 7 out of 10. This, this, this is if you like any form of an 80s action movie, I've really been in my kick of watching 80s action movies. So when I turned this on, it didn't surprise me what I got here. And for that reason alone, I think you can thoroughly enjoy Instruction 2. And possibly seeing the birth of another great action star and an action character in Rake and Chris Hemsworth. Outside of Thor, this is possibly some of the best work he's done. And I think it's that way because Extraction 2 is a Fast and Furious film. And I know it seems scatterbrained and I'm saying it that way. But what I mean by it's a Fast and Furious film is that it's so unbelievable that you can't be bothered by it. Because I refuse to give a review and I'm talking about how unbelievable it is and give it a negative aspect to it. I think that's exactly what they were going for and they nailed exactly what they were going for and I think audiences have shown so far they like it. I think it's going to lead to the audience growing and or, and them absolutely loving this film and forgetting that none of it makes any sense here. <laughs> none of it makes sense at all but yet and still it's still a film that is thoroughly enjoyable. So Check it out. If you have Netflix, if you don't have Netflix, pick up Netflix. It's ad ser it's ad services of Netflix now, ad free services of Netflix now. It's free trials of Netflix now. Even if you just get a free trial to watch this movie, watch it. Let us know what you think. This has been another JVS movie review. Peace, people. <laughs>